Everyone loves French toast. French toast is one of those dishes that, you know, every household should know how to make because it's so delicious. And it's such a nice substitute to pancakes or waffles once you get bored of that. And it's so quick and so easy to do. So we're gonna do a little variation of it. I'm gonna do a nice soaked French toast with some caramelized bananas. And on top, I'm gonna put a cream cheese Ferrero Rocher type of icing. So it's just full on cheat day breakfast. So we're gonna start with just one egg into a bowl here. And then we're gonna take about half a cup of milk. We're gonna whisk that. Now to this, we're just gonna add a little bit of flour. You don't want it to be thick like pancakes. A lot of people make that mistake. But I don't like it too doughy because the bread's already there. So you don't really need that extra dough. Once it's nicely mixed, I'm gonna use English muffins. I like English muffins because they're very porous, so they're gonna absorb lots of flavor. Take a knife, make some holes in it. Okay, then we're just gonna soak them, press them down a little, and they'll absorb all the liquid. Do it on the other side too. You see, you hear that spongy sound? That's exactly what you want. And we're just gonna let that chill. So next, with a bowl like this, I'm just gonna take um, some Philadelphia cream cheese, or you can use any other type of light cream cheese. Here we're using two, uh, we're gonna do two French toasts, so basically I'm gonna use half of this only. And now to this, I'm gonna add just a tad bit of Muscovado sugar, maybe not even a teaspoon. Okay. Now, just to make this more interesting, I'm gonna take some Ferrero Rocher. So I'm gonna use six pieces here. And these chocolates, everyone loves, of course. You mix it with that cream cheese. I know it might sound weird, but it just works really well. Give it a quick chop. You hear that crunch? And here, same thing. Just add the whole thing there and crunch it up so it becomes nice and combined without necessarily having to break every piece of Ferrero Rocher in there. I'm just gonna take one small banana, slice it in two, and now we move on to the stove. So now we're just gonna add our little English muffin French toast to some butter over here. The heat's gonna be kinda high because we just wanted to get it to that nice crust and cook a little bit longer. The bananas are gonna be really quick in another pan right here and we'll just let the natural sugars come out and give it that nice caramelized color. So when I flip it, I'm gonna add a little bit of our locally made Don Papa rum. Add about a tablespoon, get the flame. Just to get that nice caramel. See, it's really quick, beautiful taste. So once they're done, I'm just gonna flap them on here. See how they're nice and caramelized? It's perfect, it's exactly what you want. We take our little icing here, and we're just gonna use this basically like a butter. Um, and since it's Philadelphia cream cheese, they won't melt that easily, which is perfect. So we put a heaped tablespoon on there. Spread it out a little. We're just going to take our bananas here and just top it off. It's a really simple, yet very creative uh, way to do a French toast. And I'm sure you can impress anyone to do this one. So you'll see it's a nice and soft and crusty English muffin, and just the perfect weight that you're looking for. And of course, with all this, is why we stack it up like this is to make the perfect bite. So a little bit of banana, a little bit of bread, a little cream cheese. I'm throw and I'm actually salivating right now. Mm. Still good though, like, you can really taste that rum. It just adds a whole new volume to it. And it's just like a de deconstructed cheesecake that tastes fantastic. Super tasty. Yeah.